back to the Gabby Arminal and last video, welcome to my channel. Today is still August 27th and this is my third video. Hope you guys liked that last video. I know it's a little silly, a little funny, a little odd, but that's my dream when I was when I was a young kid. Now I just remembered something. I had to retake, you know, this uh, third video because I couldn't think of anything I wanted to say. But I came to, came to mind to something. Um, this is when I was about six years old, and we're going to start from the beginning. Me being five or six years old, I was barely allowed to be outside. Um, lost a shoe on, a, on a, one of our trips to the reserve to, you know, a uh, couple towns over, you know, that's where it was in the city. Someone lost a shoe. Um, I was losing a, uh, like a stuffed, uh, a, a stuffy, I'm going to say a stuffy because it could be a stuffed animal or a stuffed character, and, you know, me being around between five and six anyway, and I know it's around six that I'm going to get, get to this, uh, this, um, story in the dream. So at that time, um, I think my, my dad was staying at his mom's. And my grandma, there was an uncle and aunt, another uncle, another aunt, uh, grandpa, my dad, some cousins, and we were in a big, we were a big giant house and stuff like that. And and I I don't know I, I lost my shoe, and I couldn't go outside because I lost my shoe, couldn't find it, looked everywhere, couldn't really find it. But they thought maybe it was left someplace, you know, on the reserve, and it happened to be later later on. And me, I don't know what to do, you know, watch a little bit of TV, um, just doing whatever, playing with, with the whatever, my little dinky cars in time, or, I have wooden cars, I have wooden cars and pulley things and, uh, tops and stuff like that, like little blocks, like, uh, Lego blocks, but they're wooden Lego blocks at that time. And I was bored. I didn't know what I was, was, you know, what I was doing. Didn't really have anything to do, and I was bored. I wanted to go outside, but I didn't. I only had the one shoe, and I couldn't find that shoe anywhere. I looked up and down uh, in the rooms, underneath stuff, and looking through my uh, my little suitcase that it was uh, uh, given to me to you know carry sometimes. A little, little tiny suitcase. I looked everywhere. The only place I didn't want to go down to was the basement. I did not want to go down to the basement. Basement was scary at that time. I did not want to go down to that basement. And I heard that there's an attic, and then I, I there's some. Sometimes people would go up in the attic, like a cousin or something like that, and they would, they would scare me. But like, be like stay out of that, that uh, stay out of that attic, or or that bad man will get you. And me being scared of the attic, and I would. Sometimes run by the attic to go someplace, and sometimes it'd be open, sometimes it'd be, sometimes it'd be closed, sometimes it'd be lighters up, sometimes it'd be lighters down. So I looked everywhere for my shoe. Couldn't go outside. I was really bored. So I went towards uh, the one room. I think it was. I think it was the living room. I think it was the living room. It was not too far from the kitchen anyway. And there's this big round white machine. And that's what washes my clothes. I know my clothes is cleaner and looks better when, you know, through this washing machine. And I see clothes getting pushed through the top part of it because it squeezes the clothes out. And yeah, it's one of those machines that squeezes your clothes. So me, you know, trying to help out, I think my grandma, my aunt, I think it was my aunt. I grabbed one of my little shirts to put it up in that thing that squeezes the uh, water out from the from the shirt, and I pushed it up there, and it wasn't going through. It was pushing, pushing, and then I it went through, but then the rollers caught onto my hand, and I'm sitting there screaming and crying because it's squeezing my hand, squeezing my arm, and then when it went up towards my elbow and past my elbow, that's when that thing popped open 
and I was sitting there screaming and crying. I was laying on the floor and it's burning, hurting, and then uh, my aunt is uh, freaking out and stuff like that. And um, the, she she used a house phone to call somebody, and then uh, there was a fire truck that came and some kind of other white looking vehicle that time. That, uh, and I was put in the white vehicle and my dad just showed back up from where he was, I'm not too sure where at that time, I don't know if he was working or drinking. And I'm getting rushed to some place, some big building, I didn't know what it was then, it probably was hospital today, but I didn't know what it was. I was sitting there, I was, I was in there, and my sound was supposed to replay, hold on a second. Jeez. And it was this big white building, I don't know where it was, and I was scared, it was my dad, and he goes, it's okay, it's okay, it's it only hurt for a little bit, you can toughen this up, and you'll be okay. So, I was there, and I guess my dad stayed overnight, and they had to do, they had to do these weird squares, They'd like, um, like some kind of wrap to my arm, but they were weird squares, and uh, these squares, when they put it on to my arm, it was burning. It was like, um, it's like plaid squares, plaid, like little plaid squares. And they were putting on my arm, Every, everyone, each one they put on my arm, it was burning, it's burning, it's hurting, I'm crying and stuff. And because every time they touched the arm, it was, it was hurting. So, I was there for the one night, and I'd stay there because uh, I wasn't ready to go back home, I guess. My dad was with me um, until morning, and morning or something like that, he had to go. Then my aunt, who was doing the laundry, she was there for a bit. And I'm eating some delicious foods here on the breakfast and lunch and supper, and watching cartoons on the TV and laughing and then every time I laugh my arm would hurt and I would cry a little bit and she was wiping my tears she goes it's okay I know I know you didn't know what not to touch that I I'm sorry I should have watched you more and so she's kind of upset too so I'm laying there most of the day I tried coloring with my left hand and coloring was really bad and I'm sitting there and looking at my arm. It's in a it's in a sling. It's like a little sling and a bunch of uh, of those squares and then wrapped with this white wrap and my arms there. And uh, I moved my hand out of the sling a little bit. And looked at my fingers. My fingers were black. I'm only like six years old. And then my aunt uh, left that night. She had to go do something. And she said, "Some of you might be coming to see you soon uh, to be with you for the night. You might be home coming home tomorrow." Maybe uh, maybe one more day only. So she's left. It's kind of it's kind of dark outside. There's nothing really going on, and I'm hurting and I'm tired. And there's there's all these weird sounds. And the door is like half open, and I hear weird sounds out in the hallway or uh, the radiator weird sound or. Uh, some kind of some kind of sound is happening inside or outside that door. And, uh, the windows open a little bit and it's kind of moving the curtains. So me, I'm feeling scared because I'm sitting there. You know, I'm six years old and I'm, you know, the different sounds are kind of getting to me. So I'm then sitting there and sitting there. Uh, you know, that propped up a little bit. And I was I'm not completely you know flat. And. I'm there, I'm tired now, I'm waiting for a family member, I want to stay up to be, you know, see this family member that's coming, I don't know if it's going to be my aunt or uncle or my dad, and I, I don't know what's going on, it's like, I'm waiting, waiting, and I started falling asleep and then waking up because of some weird sounds that's going on around me, and falling asleep, and then, then I try, trying to not, not fall asleep again, and then I guess in between me falling asleep and hearing these sounds, I was sitting there, I was laying there in the bed, I don't know, I think I was dreaming, 
or I was thinking you know, I was in between you know, being awake in the dream. Nobody was there you know, for me, and I don't know how long I was, I was there anyway, in th that darkness. I was laying there, and I hear tick, 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 and it sounded like, like I, I kind of opened my eyes, and I looked around. I mean, I, I do believe I opened my eyes, but I don't know, I could be open my eyes in my dream. And I thought, I was looking around the room, and I was wondering what that you know, little tick, 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 tick sound. Like me being scared of bugs and spiders and shadows and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on. And um, I'm kind of crying and upset and stuff, and nobody's coming to see me. Nobody's, nobody's there. Nobody, you know, nobody hears me. So um, I guess I just sitting there, and I guess I fell asleep again. I hear creak, 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 and then. I was waking up and looking around the room and like it's a sound and it was that bathroom door open up a little bit and it's really dark and then I thought maybe something's in there and grabbing them on my sheet. Oh what's with the with the left hand grabbing onto the sheet. Or I mean left hand, sorry, left hand. Grabbing onto the sheet. And nothing's going on and I don't hear anything. I hear I hear the rat sometimes in the uh, curtain. And I'm now looking towards the chair and like uh, to the side of my bed, there's nobody there yet. So I'm sitting there and still trying to stay awake. I don't know if I'm awake or I'm in a, in a dream. And I heard a weird sound when, I'm, when, I, when I, I guess I did drift off and fall asleep. And when I woke up my eyes, it looked like something really small, like uh, like a small, tiny animal was running down the railing of my, uh, my bed the bed rail was up so I don't roll off and fall onto the floor. And I'm kind of screaming and crying now and the nurse comes in, she's flipping the light, it's bright. She goes, what's wrong? And I tell her, I'm hearing noises. I hear, I see, I thought I'd see somebody in the bathroom or I hear somebody, uh, you know, moving around the room. And she's looking around in the bathroom. She goes, no, sweetie, there's nothing here. There's nobody here. And I said, I'm, waiting, I'm still waiting for my daddy or my uncle and, or somebody to come sit with me. I'm pretty sure to be here pretty soon. Just, you know, s sit tight and rest and you need your energy for if you're going to go back home tomorrow. So she goes, I'm going to still leave the door open halfway. I'll be able to hear you if you ever call me. So she flips off the light and sitting in, uh, you know, partially darkness again. And... I guess I'm sitting there waiting for somebody to come and uh, sit with me or or something and I guess I drifted off. And I'm sitting there and I guess I did, I guess I just drifted off. I hear weird sounds. I hear, I hear the back door close. I don't know if it's my dream or it was really awake. I heard the back door close. And I can like, open my eyes and look towards the bathroom door, and the door's closed. And the curtain's moving around a little bit. And I heard some shuffling as when went after that door closed. I thought maybe, you know, maybe it's uncle and my dad. And I'm looking around the room, looking around like there's nobody there. And I'm kind of upset and, you know, kind of almost crying again because somebody's in the room. I don't, don't see them. So it got quiet again. If you want to hear the rest of this video, then you have to go to the next video. So, if you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Make sure this video and channel might have been for you, might be for me. Please do tell your friends and family about it. Thank you for viewing this video. We'll tell you guys watch it. Hope you all have a nice day. Remember, it's going to be original than original.